All right, folks. Just wanted to do a quick video on this uh, cold steel pipe hawk. It is uh, one of the many different uh, tomahawks or hatchets that they have in uh, in their line. One of the things that's a little odd says American Tomahawk Company, and you flip it over the side, and it's uh, it's made in Taiwan. But that's okay. I'll get over that. Anyhow, uh, I was fortunate enough to go on a camping trip with some buddies, and and somebody had one of these. And uh, we were we were throwing it, uh, it was stick into the things that we were throwing it at. We did some light chopping, uh, nothing hardcore, nothing heavy duty. Um, I didn't buy this to go into a bug out kit, a shit hits the fan kit, or I should say a SHTF kit. Um, I did not buy this to become a bushcraft Zen master. Uh, I bought it as a project. I want to I want to strip the wood, put a walnut stain on it, and I want to strip this finish and, and cold blue it and. Uh, I really bought it as something that uh, a camping tool that I would use, hiking tool, light duty chopper. Although I'm sure this thing can take some pretty good abuse, uh, but for me, it's not going to replace a small axe or felling or splitting axe uh, in my camping gear. It's this is just something that uh, will supplement that and give me something to play around with. Uh, anyhow, the pipe hawk comes with a 22 inch hickory handle. So this stuff is pretty durable, but it, it can chip and break and splinter. But I think hickory is a great choice for a handle. The uh, head of the tomahawk is 7.5 inches with a 3-inch cutting edge. And uh, it's made out of 1055 drop forge. I think 1055 is medium carbon, not high carbon. Um, 1055 has a little bit more give and flex than like a 1095. So I think it's a good choice for this. Uh, and the whole thing weighs 28 ounces. You can get one of these delivered for about 25 to 30 bucks and then uh, I paid a few extra dollars to get this nylon I'm not sure what kind of nylon it's heavy duty nylon um, sheath or mask for the for the head of the axe that you can put on there don't really have much more to say about it other than that I will do the modifications on video so that way you can see the evolution um, how this thing changes I guess one thing to note is is that this is actually staked in. The head is actually staked. Uh, typical tomahawks or hatchets use friction to hold the heads on. Um, sometimes you'll see videos of these. This thing's locked up tight. There's, there's no wobble or play. Sometimes you'll see where these are pretty loose. But you can see where they, they hammer this thing on here. And then uh, they put the stake screw in. I will be using this without that screw. I will friction fit it after I sand and deburr the inside, the eye of the, uh, the head of the axe. Really not much more to say other than that. I'll see you in the next video.